Today I have what is known as an entry level Patek. This is the Calatrava 5120J001. Now this is an entry level because of the retail price and not because it's lacking anything. This is actually a stunning timepiece which has an elegant white enamel dial surrounded by a beautiful hot nail bezel. You want more? Well, how about a 6.5 millimeter thick case with an automatic movement adjusted in five positions and featuring a gold micro rotor and a stunning finishing throughout the entire movement? This is not an entry level timepiece. This is more like a phenomenal deal from a collection which roots dates back to the 1930s when Reference 96 was first introduced. This is a collection that is heavily inspired by the Baja's design principles and continues to date in the Patek catalog in different variations. The only thing that I am not crazy about, and this is just my personal preference, is the lack of a second's hand. Does it really need it? Not really, but I personally like to see it on my watches, whether it's a central seconds or a running seconds sub down. But this timepiece is all about the aesthetics and the less is more philosophy. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at this Patek and you guys let me know what you think on the comments below. If you like our weekly videos, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And for more information on this timepiece, click on the link below. This 2007 Calatrava has a classic size of 35 millimeters in diameter and is crafted from 18 karat yellow gold. From lug to lug, this case measures only 40.8 millimeters, which means it will work on a wide range of wrist sizes. Now, not too many people will consider a 35 millimeter case. I'm one of them. But my suggestion to you is try it first before you discard the idea. You will be surprised on how well it looks on the wrist. And this is how it looks on a seven and a half inch wrist. Thanks to the length of the lugs, the timepiece doesn't look that small. Now, if you are a Dave Bautista or Dwayne Johnson, yeah, this just might be a bit small for you. But for an average wrist size, this timepiece will look great. Now the case has a high polish finish and features Patek's Calatrava logo on the crown and a beautiful hot nail bezel that looks phenomenal under the lights. Now to wrap around the wrist, this one comes with an aftermarket brown alligator leather strap, which in my opinion looks better than the black leather strap that it comes with from factory. But this strap does use the original Patek pin buckle, also crafted from 18 karat yellow gold. And under the sapphire crystal, this Calatrava has a white dial with black Roman numerals and black hands that contrast beautifully with the white dial. This is a timeless classic design. And under the hood, this Patek is powered by Caliber 240. This automatic movement was created in 1977 and is considered one of Patek's iconic calibers. The movement works at 3 Hz using 27 joules and has a power reserve of 48 hours. The caliber also features a free sprung gyro max balance and 30 meters of water resistance. And the finishing of the movement is what you can expect from Patek. Perfect. We call the Geneva on the bridges and engine turning on the back plate plus black polish finish down to the screws. This is a classic timepiece that truly deserves to be in a watch collection. For more information on this timepiece, please visit our website at blacktag.watch.